You know, all right, today I'm going to try to pull a bunch of things together for you. So psyops, how are you being psyoped? How is information being presented? What is perspective and how can it be manipulated by other people? And, and what, do you, what do you do about it? What's the correct way to avoid some of these problems? <laughs> So here's the deal. We have memes and, uh, you know, some memes are, we'll say, better than others. I personally think memes are destroying the world, mainly because they lack context. And so what I've done is I've made this little uh, animation as best as I could. Of course, I had some help with from Casal Adams, who is excellent and did the actual animated part. And, and so this is basically a little animated story to show you the problem of perspective to show you how perspectives, your perspective is being manipulated and that's causing, you know, causing a psyop, basically. Um, this is, I mean, well, sense that they're being manipulated. They use the term psyop. Yeah, they're close enough, right? Is this a, a who? Well, we're doing it mostly to ourselves. If for no other reason, then we're allowing people to manipulate our perspective and not recognizing the problem. So what I'd like to do is introduce you to the first problem. Here is the first problem, my friends, the midwit meme. Now, the real problem with the meme is that there's nothing wrong with the meme on the surface, except you'll notice there's three types of people. And then what happens with the midwit meme is that you are classifying somebody based on this diagram. But what you're not doing is classifying yourself based on this diagram. You're not in that picture because you're able to see the whole thing. That's how the perspective manipulation works. You're able to see it, so you're apart from it already. That's implicit. It's implied by the perspective. But there are some other problems, like this is just plain wrong. So to demonstrate why and how this is wrong, first we have to understand that the curve in this picture is called the Gaussian curve, or even it's an equal distribution. We do not live in a world of equal distribution. Uh, we live in an asymmetrical world where there's more matter than antimatter, for example, as the physicists have found out. So what is the appropriate curve for the natural world? Right? That's the, that's the valid question. Well, it, it just turns out that the appropriate curve is this, which is called a Cauchy distribution. And you'll notice it has so-called fat tails. If you've read any Nassim Taleb, you'll be familiar with this. And you'll notice it's, it's quite a, a much steeper curve. But there's sort of an, an additional problem. There's a lot of, of middle here and very little top. But also, this is the wrong way to display this distribution in terms of viewing it correctly. So this way of doing this graph, and there's two ways of doing graphs, PDFs and CDF, um, this way of doing the graph is actually incorrect. Okay, the correct way to do the graph is to make it an S curve. Okay, because now you get a better sense for where everybody is because the, the top is not actually in the middle in that way. It, it's more like the top is at the top and the bottom's at the bottom and most of everything is in the middle. But this is the curve of everything. And you, you may have heard of uh, Dr. Jordan Peterson talk about this in terms of the Pareto principle. Uh, right? It has a number of names, but Pareto Principle is probably the most popular. Pareto Principle is based on the, on the S-curve, right? So it's the 80-20 rule, but it, the 20 is the bottom 10% and the top 10%, and the 80 is the middle. 80% of the people are in the middle. You can see this in voting records. Uh, you can see this in the distribution of stars in the universe. You can see this kind of all over the place, right? So you have a 10% place in the universe where there's almost no stars and a 10% place where there's a lot of stars, but most of the universe is, has this different distribution that's in between those, we'll say. And so this is the proper way to display this. So the question then becomes, well, what does this uh, leave us with? Well, and this, if we put the midwit meme back into the proper perspective, this is what it leaves us with, okay? So and now at least we have what we'll call a natural representation or a true representation of how things are distributed and how we as a third party should view them. So we've gotten rid of a bunch of the psyops, a bunch of the problems with this, right? Where it's not like most people are in the middle. It's like the overwhelming majority is in the middle. 
and you get 10% at the top, 10% at the bottom, right? So 10% stupid people, 10% geniuses. That's about right. We always talk about the top 10% and the bottom 90%. Right. And so we, we know we talk about this correctly sometimes, but even this is wrong because you're stuck on this graph somewhere. And the question is, how do you know where? Ah, that's the PSYOP. Let me show you how the PSYOP manifests. So you're, you're somewhere, right? And maybe if you just look at this closely enough, you'll get an idea of the problem of determining where you are. So what do you think if you're in the 80%, which statistically pretty likely, huh? Um, where do you think you are? Now, the interesting thing is, let's assume that you think you're not in the 80%. The problem is, if you're in the bottom 10%, you're not watching this YouTube channel for various reasons. It's not like you don't have access to YouTube. It's that you wouldn't find this channel interesting. Oh, wait a minute. That means in order to be on this graph, in a way that you're watching this YouTube channel. It's either the lower 90% because the 10% is actually excluded, right? Or you're in the upper 10%. So it's not like you have a 20% chance of understanding this correctly or being in that top tier. You only have a 10% chance. Ah, that's another psyop. It might be the 80-20 rule but it's split up in thirds, not in half. So what does this look like to be, we'll say, on this graph? Well, let's, let's go to a 3D simulation and actually put you on the graph. So what you see is we're going to zoom in. What, what does this midwit see in the world? Well, as you zoom into the midwit, what you uh, sort of realize is that if you're a midwit, we'll say smack dab in the middle of the 80% even, right? Uh, when you sort of uh, look up, you can't really see very much now, can you? Uh, the top half is not really available. Uh, you can't see the whole thing because it's too far away. But when you look down, you see a plethora of people. Now, the fact of the matter is we've already determined this. You're smack dab in the middle of the graph. There are just as many people above you as below you. But that's not what you see in the world. The smartest people in the world aren't visible to you, at least not enough of them to make a difference. So you're always seeing some less than 10% number, right? And again, we'll just apply the rule again. How much less than 10%? Oh, it's probably 90% of the 10% that's missing, maybe 80% of the 10%. But below you, stupid people or people stupider than you, even in the middle, you see way more of them because you can see all of them. By definition, that would be true, right? By definition, somebody of average intelligence sees everybody smarter than them, but can't understand the people that are, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, sees everybody not smarter than them, but can't understand the people that are smarter than them. And so they don't know if they're smart or stupid, right? And interestingly, the idea that you don't know that they're smart or stupid is actually contained in the midwit mean, but you probably missed it, right? It's that idea that, oh, I'm in the middle and these two, the smart ones and the stupid ones have the same opinion. But that means they're indiscernible from one another. And that idea that you could judge it is given to you by the fact that you're viewing the midwit mean from a third perspective. But as I've demonstrated with the animation here at the end, you can't do that. But you think you can, because the world presents itself that way to you in the form of a meme. This is why memes are dangerous. This is why I don't like memes. It's very context-based. And if you don't understand the context of the meme, the meme will lead you down a wrong path, basically. And so it's not a transformative item. And I'll, I'll have more on the realm of transformative coupling and how that relates to memes and the importance of, of all that very soon, because we, we actually did do this work about five years ago. I just haven't put it on the channel because it requires a bunch of other stuff and 
I think now after four years of running the channel, I've got most of that stuff. Maybe not all of it, but maybe enough of it. So look, I want you to understand when you're looking at something, it's putting you in a third person view or an objective material reality view. That is not representative of what you see in the world. So the fact that you can project the world onto the image that you see that's flat, that's a midwit meme, doesn't mean anything, but it gives you a false sense of confidence and a false sense of security in where you are and what your capabilities for judgment are. That's the PSYOP. And you're participating in it yourself, which is the problem. So hopefully this worked and this helps. And if you like the animation, comment below. If you want to see more, comment below, like, subscribe, trying to grow the channel a little bit. I think uh, now we have enough material, especially with momentum and hierarchy to really dig into some of these topics. Uh, and I'm going to do more slides. And if you guys ask for more animations, uh, as terrible as they may be, I will attempt to do them. Uh, if, if you know an animator who works for free, uh, let me know. Um, lo love to love to get better help. Uh, I know Castle's probably never going to do another animation for me again. So <laughs> the, this is the cost of doing these things. Friendships were lost. Wars were started. Look, hopefully this helps. Think about this carefully. Watch the video again if you have to. I need the viewers anyway. And uh, I, I really appreciate your time and attention.